So Nintendo has released their last 3DS variant this year, and next year there's going to be releasing more games. But exactly what's the future for the 3DS? Because in 2019, the, the 3DS will be obsolete. Could they possibly port 3DS games to the Nintendo Switch? Well, let's find out. So is it possible for them to port 3DS games to Nintendo Switch since it sort of is a handheld to home console you can take anywhere? And since the 3DS is dying, would they though? I mean, by 2019, Nintendo Switch would have sold like 3 million to 40 million range in 2019, which would be making it like really popular and stuff. So wouldn't they want to port their 3DS games to the Nintendo Switch? Well, the answer for that is possibly yes, because they could do it for virtual console or they could do a port and upgrade it. But what would be the requirements to get a 3DS game and port it to the Nintendo Switch? For Nintendo Switch in docked mode, the requirements must be like 1080p, 60 frames per second for all 3DS games on the Nintendo Switch. Like, imagine games like Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds, Pokemon, Ultra Moon, or New Super Mario Brothers 2, or Kirby Triple Deluxe, or Super Mario 3D Land, all in HD, 1080p, 60 frames per second. So some people have created a simulator on PC so you can play New Super Mario Brothers 2 on the the PC in 1080p 60 frames per second and it looks so good if they could port the switch and make it 60 frames per second it would be really good on the switch since you can play it on the go or on your TV and if it were like this and they remade the game for the switch and with upgrade graphics and frame rate I would definitely rebuy the game for the Switch. But how would these games work on the Switch from the 3DS? Let's look at two games that are bound on the Switch that were also from the 3DS. So let's look at Resident Evil Revelations and Fire Emblem Warriors. So when the game was supported to the Switch, they upgraded graphics animated 60 frames per second and it looks pretty dang good. And it was also ported to Xbox One PS4 also so of course it would need to like upgrade the graphics and um, frame rate in order to make it actually work as best as possible on the other consoles too and the Switch. But it, there is a big difference from the 3DS running at 240p and I'm pretty sure 30 frames per second, yeah, on the 3DS compared to 1080p 60 frames per second on the Nintendo Switch. So I'm betting they would just do this process for every 3DS game, but there's one problem. Some 3DS games have two screens needed. I'm betting for like the 3DS ports, if they even port them to the Switch, they would upgrade graphics and frame rate, and then they would modify it so it can work on an only one screen system. So basically, if you look at Fire Emblem Warriors, it also had a second screen on 3DS, but they modified the game to have it run on Switch and upgrade graphics and frame rate again, of course. But I think if they could do it to the games like Fire Emblem Warriors and make it so it doesn't need two screens, I think they could do that to every 3DS port to the Switch and it could work. It, but it would be awesome to see 3DS ports come to Nintendo Switch and better graphics and frame rate. Again, dang, I've said frame rates and graphics way too many times this video, but whatever. But I really do want them to like port the games or something. I don't want them to be on virtual consoles similar to the Wii U. Because for the Wii U, they ported a bunch of DS games 
onto the Wii U, well, on virtual console and stuff, but they didn't improve graphics or frame rate or anything. I think they should do that if they choose to, to have 3DS games on the Switch for a virtual console or something, but upgrade the graphics or something, because they have done it technically before with Fire Emblem Wars and Resident Evil Revelations on the Nintendo Switch. So I don't see a problem with them doing that for all the 3DS games that come to the Nintendo Switch once they do like virtual console. It wouldn't be like too much work, I think. It would probably take like a few weeks or so to fully like upgrade it to the, the Nintendo Switch capabilities. But besides that, it shouldn't be too difficult from what I know. But yeah, please tell me what you think of 3DS ports coming to Nintendo Switch and all that stuff. With that, the way, Savage here, Brian out.